Today we are here to talk about different data types in a PLC. We covered up to now like digital stuff and where we have a bit. So we were talking about digital, uh, you can say programming in a PLC. Now we are moving towards analog portion of it. To go to that side we have actually, we have to actually understand clearly what are different PLC data types. So that Let's take an example from our daily life. For example, if one put one drum of water, you cannot use one glass for that. So you need to have a one drum for that to to, to put one drum of water in there. So same as the case, if you want to put one tank of water, you cannot use drum for that. So based on the storage, like you're using a specific container for that. So same as the case in PLC memory. Like if in the case you it based on how much you want to store in there, you have a different data types to actually uh, like smallest one is bit for sure and then byte and then word and then double word so let's study today like how we can use that and how much we can store in each so if you're using a negative values then it will become half of the total value and that will become two well, minus two one four seven four eight three six four eight two plus two one four seven four eight three and 647 and that will be because half of the value of total value and so that's about double word so if in the case you talk about the double word then you you can have if in the case you want to address that in PLC you can use MD0 for memory if you're using memory uh, of the PLC for that you can use MD0 and then uh, you can also use ID0 for that reason so one thing I one thing I want to clear, like for example, if you're storing the integer value, then you have an option of use using a double word, word R byte for that. But in integer value like one, two, three, that have no point values. But if in the case you want to store the values that have point values like 10.5, 15.6 that are real numbers right so for that reason you can have only option of using double word so we have already opened up uh, OB block here so let's program move instruction and we will try to use data type that we studied like IW0 I will put it here and I'll show you how do we we can simulate it IW0 and then I'm gonna put it in, uh, in MW0 so I'm taking IW0 and putting in MW0 so input word 0 going to memory bit word uh, memory word 0 so uh, that's very simple logic and then I will just go ahead and download that program in a PLC and then one minute I have to insert input variable and then I have to actually change it to IW0 because it's a word, it's not a byte. So I can use IW0 and then I can run it, okay? So once I will run it, I can run it, but I think I have downloaded it or not. But so uh, let's try. Uh, if I give 40 value, mm -hmm. so that value is again going towards output same value is going to output now you you might be seeing here this is 28 so we have to change it to the decimal it will become exactly what value we give so 40 we have written in there so the, you have to change the representation if you will make it automatic you will not get the exact value over there so you have to change it to whatever uh, like a, a decimal value for if for example if I give 66 mm -hmm. value the 66 value is moved so it's just copying the value from IW0 to MW0 so we have use it and in future lessons we will use uh, word double word integers and real values so we should be very clear about the data types I was getting a lot of requests to actually start up channel in Urdu and Hindi so I have started working on that so you can see the link of that channel in the description of this video if you want to join that you are welcome that where I will post trainings on PLC DCS HMI and SCADA in Urdu language so you're welcome to join that channel 
Hope you liked today's video. If you like it and want to see more content on IT and Automation Academy, you have to just subscribe this channel and put your notification on and share it with your friends. Because like you, there are a lot of other people who are looking for the right skills and they are not able to find it. So let's work together to help everybody. Thank you very much for watching today's free session. Hope you hope to see you soon. Assalamu alaikum.